Witness me. Right then, are we live? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Poet Plays. I am your poet, Chenny, and uh, today is going to be a maskless episode because I don't look too bad, thankfully. Filming timer has been set for 27 minutes. I've noticed that about 28 minutes is actually a good length for an episode, and we're going to resume our adventure right where we left off on the last episode. Like I said, we were right outside Mervale's cabin when we ran out of time. She's the final boss of Act 1, and we're going to face her. Oh, and another announcement, uh, the Prophecy League is actually ending in about 16 days, so I can do about, <coughs> excuse the general grievous cough, about 8 more episodes, I think, so I may have to continue in the Standard League, uh, because it would just break continuity. But... There is some good news, I actually got the lightning arc skill just then when I was running back to the cabin. I killed something and it uh, got me the arc skill. It's very weak right now, but I think it'll upgrade soon, so uh, hopefully I get to use it later on. Now, we're going to start this adventure by seeking a prophecy from Navali. Blue tendrils entangle in change. All that remains is gold. Oh, okay, all that remains is gold. Blue tendrils entangle and change. I will use an orb of transmutation and it will grant extra mods. So basically, um, if I ever enchant anything, it's going to be pretty awesome. I think I can get let one more. Me tell your future. Yes, I will let you tell your future. Just don't be rude. I'm trying to present a story here. Okay. Bones fall from the sky and take the shape of the men they once were. The undead storm. Um, I will discover an area with a morbid tempest. Wow, that instills so much confidence in me. I shall discover an area with a morbid tempest. Lovely. Okay, um... Oh god, what happened to my portal? It disappeared. Well, crap. Um, I shall be right back. Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This makes it the second time I've actually had to run through the bloody area just to get back to Mervale's lair. Now we are exactly where we left off the last time. I'm going to start the filming timer again. <coughs> We've got 25 minutes for this episode. I've got a general grievous cough. Let's make it happen. Now, Mervale's lair. Oh, and I've been using the arc spell, which I'm going to show you because it's a lot of fun to shoot lightning. There is so much gold here. A what? Love's true face? What? Why, why, are, why are icicles raining down from the ceiling? What's going on? Oh, uh, uh, there's there's Mervale. Uh, okay, so she, so, ow, 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 ow. she hurts a lot. She deals a lot of damage. <laughs> I'm not sure I actually uh, am enjoying this very much. Um, I think I've got to evade her attacks. She's uh, some kind of golden lady. I would zoom in and show you, but then I'd die. Okay, wait, I managed to get in close. So there she is. Uh, she's this golden lady. Very golden, very shining. Ah, she's sending swords after me of some kind. I've got to summon skeletons to protect myself. <laughs> this is probably the most shameful boss fight in history, but that's alright. <laughs> I don't care much for pride. My zombies are all dead, my skeletons are all I've got. I'm summoning skulls like crazy to beat her to death. Uh, yep, yep, they're doing well, they're doing... Oh god, she's transforming, she seems to be transforming. Here she is, she has turned into some... Oh god, she's an ugly squid monster. Mervale the Twisted... Uh, why am I commenting like a horse racer? I don't know, but I'm quite nervous. <laughs> and there's Mervale. Mervale's in the first lane. She's going to win this race. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, she's summoning pillars of water. Um, I don't know if they're dangerous. Or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can survive them either. I'm just going to uh, not bother and run away from them. Let my skulls do the work. Yes, seek her out, my minions. Destroy her for me, because I'm too lazy and too cowardly to fight. Okay, she's releasing a screaming attack of some sort. My skulls just don't seem to care. They're just uh, going to beat her to death. And I'm summoning more skeletons, and she's screaming. Ow, it's actually hurting my ears. Um, but uh, she's not much of a threat. And she's dead, she's dead. Okay, there we go. Poor fishwife, uh, it was love that did this to you. Yes, poor fishwife, it was certainly love that did this to her. So let this be a lesson to all of you who are searching for a man on Twitter. Love turns you into a horrible squid monster. Right, so now it's time to get our loot. That was totally a calm boss fight. I was not at all worried. It was a very easy fight. No problems whatsoever. I was totally in control the entire time. Don't you look at me like that. I was totally in control. You know that. Okay, so I'm going to um, 
I'm back in town. I'm just going to... Actually, there's... Uh, I think there's some people to talk to. Why not? Let's just hear them out. First, I thought you brave. Been a fool for seeking out Mervale. Fall in love with death. Now, I don't know. The coast is ours, thanks to you. But please, keep one thing in mind with me. What have you become when even nightmares fear you? Well, I've obviously become a hero, Nessa. Haha, <laughs> when even nightmares fear me. Demons run when a good man goes to war, but thankfully I'm not a good man. I'm just a really evil one. Uh, I don't need this. That. Silken vest. Don't need it. I'm more for matching these slots because they're more important to me than uh, what, what properties are on the thing. Vestal? <laughs> Quite the lady killer, aren't you? Why, yes, that I am. Sweet squid didn't stand a chance. Knew it from the first time I saw those sharp peepers of yours. Pirates notwithstanding, I thank you on behalf of all the fallen brethren of the waves. Now that the final cadence has been played, no one need remember Mervale's song. Of course, they don't need to remember her song, they need to remember mine. Ha <laughs> ha! And uh, I will do the law episode as well. I'm going to do that this Damn weekend. Me. I didn't think it possible. All these souls Mervale and her brood have consumed over the years. You've done right by those that are dead, and by those who still might live. What? Not going to uh, <laughs> steal my glory this time? I'm surprised, Tarkley. I'm very surprised. Okay, let's talk to Navali. Hello. A desperate ally seeks your aid and will lavish you with appreciation. You will complete a master's mission and receive triple the reputation and favor. Right, so uh, either Elrion or Haku, whoever I encounter next, will give me triple the favor. Whoop de doo. <sighs> okay, so just pick up the rest of the magical crap. And ooh, there's a damp diary. But wait. The light has come. We have opened the passage to the southern forest. Doreso gave me the gem, kissed me, promised that he would be by my side forever. I sang for him. I sang for Oriath with his gem at my throat. Kalisa's gem, Kalisa's voice. I sang in her echo, performing arias that had once made the Empire weep. I listened to Kalisa's lullabies in my dreams. I gave myself to her music, mind and body. Doreso left me for San with a promise to free me from Kalisa. I begged him not to go, tried to show him the wonder of my transformation, the beautiful daughters he would soon meet. He couldn't see. None of them could see. I fled from their hatred. When Dorezo returns, I will cast his cure away. I will teach him what true love is. Uh, okay. <coughs> uh, ladies, let this be a lesson to you. This is why you don't uh, start loving a man so much that uh, turn into that. It's what happens to a lot of ladies on Twitter. And then songs like Alone by PNB Rock become very popular. <laughs> oh, oh god, I wasted a town trip. It's, it's a waypoint nice to right see here. There's still some life in this twitching corpse of the continent. Well, my witch is very edgy, she said. She's glad to see that there's life in this continent. This wasted wow, it actually is really beautiful here. Not bad. So we seem to have found ourselves in a lovely jungle. Yes, I'm doing the David Attenborough accent. It's a lovely jungle space. Um, basically, there's all sorts of flora around. There's even a lake with some kind of uh, lotuses blooming and lily pads everywhere. This is actually a really beautiful place. Let's see what this place has to offer us. Hopefully, nothing dangerous will live here. But who am I kidding? This is a video game. What are these? Okay, we are being attacked by a swarm of red monkeys. Um, they are not very friendly. This is like Planet of the Apes. I do not wish to die, so I'm going to run away. Yes. 
see you, my lightning. Okay, so I've killed the apes, uh, raising zombies from their corpses. Ah, thank God Caesar isn't leaving, <laughs> leading them. I don't want this to be Planet of the Apes again. Oh, there's a there's a large gorilla in charge. He's the Blood Chieftain. These are apparently blood apes. They come down from the trees, and they attack in swarms. They're not very strong, uh, thankfully, because I think they they uh, do this uh, swarming type thing. It's strength in numbers. And I'll just sit back nicely and blast them with lightning. No, get away from me, you hate my <laughs> Well, the thing I like about this chain lightning more than the firestorm is that it uh, homes in on targets, so that's really cool. <laughs> So I, I think I have to find my way to the forest encampment. Uh, there's there'll be some kind of uh, forest encampment here. Maybe there's like a village in the forest. Maybe some kind of uh, resting stop. But I hope it's not like Jumanji. That'd be weird. That'd be terrible. <laughs> I do not want Jumanji here. And if you don't know what that is, then you're probably too young. I remember Jumanji. Frightened me for some reason. A board game could suck you in and you'd die or whatever. Ugh. There's a TV show on it, even. Cartoon. Okay, we're also being attacked by beetles. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I think the wildlife in here would have probably mauled David Attenborough if he were to try and present them. Um, Everything is violence and uh, once you're dead, basically, so... This is, let's look at these beetles, my god, they're gigantic beetles. A lovely detail though, look at them. There's even like a uh, detail on their claws, which is, um, you know, it's wonderful to actually see that they probably studied some... Ooh, remote mine support. I don't use any mines, so I guess that's not for me. Oh, let's look at the beetle. Look, it's got wings, it's gigantic, and it's really disgusting. They've gone through a lot of trouble to actually do the beetles' details uh, correctly. The legs and everything. Quite wonderful to see. There's even ambient sounds of birds. So this is actually like a really nice wildlife forest. But there's callow thugs. <laughs> I guess these are bandits making their home in the forest. They look really poor. One of them was attacking me with something that looked like a broomstick. <laughs> Probably don't have much money for weapons. This is their campsite. Let's have a look at it. Uh, it's very messy. My zombies are probably dripping blood all over the place. Um, they've got some potions. Uh, there are a lot of flies around their stuff. Ugh. They probably don't have much hygiene. Uh, they have a canoe. Maybe they do some fishing. Ah, the forest encampment. Here we are. <laughs> Sorry, I make weird faces. <laughs> this is what I look like when I don't have the mask on. Oh, Eremir. He reminds me of Deckard Cain. Perhaps he shall share some of his wisdom with us. I have seen many an exile come and go. <laughs> his voice is also Deckard Cain. Or into the ground. You seem different somehow. Different good, different bad. It's hard to tell at this stage. The name is Eramir, and for now you have the benefit of my doubt. Those bandits you've encountered out there, they're the dregs of Oriath. And with any foul broth, the nastiest chunks bubble to the surface. The lords of Larceny, Oak, Creighton, and Alira, the self-appointed monarchs of the forest, Creighton in the east, Alira in the west, Oak in the north, and this village, this tribe, we pay their taxes. I would never venture to say that life in Rayplast is easy, but with those three gone, well, living here might just become possible. Well, I guess I could assist you. <laughs> Alright, so these guys are attacked by bandits, they're in the east, they're in the west. 
it sounds almost like Claymore, if you remember that manga. There's like Refool of the East or whatever, I can't remember them. But, hey, hey, Navali, you're here, what's up? What's up, dog? I'm gonna I'm a talk to you later, okay? I'm gonna talk to Groost first. Groost. Looks like a very angry man, very Conan-like expression. I am Groost. I hunt boar, hunt to feed my people. You are not a friend to us. You need to run faster than boar. Right, so this is Groost. Uh, we have uh, Russian barbarians in this forest. All of them try to kill me. Yes. But it is no more of <laughs> Russian barbarian just spit upon exile. But it is okay, I kill Russian barbarian later. <laughs> Sorry, me, sir. <laughs> Sorry for doing all these accents. It's I am funny. Nina, keeper of the spirit. Are you a kind exile like Eremi? He is good to us, helps us. You will stay and help us too, yes? A beast hunts us in her dreams. A great white beast. Tortured and maddened by bad men, a long time gone. She will come here one night to tear, crush, and eat. Her pain tells her to. Find the white beast and end her pain before she shares it with us. Well, for a cute girl like you, Yina, I do quite a bit, including slaying this great white beast. But you might have to call me daddy. Haha! <laughs> Okay, let's look at who is this guy. He looks so unhealthy. <laughs> you and me, we are the same. We dream big. We find new places. We do not tell stories. Stories are told about us. I learn the words, the ways of Oriath. You listen to me and not pig heads like Groost. Then you will live to find more new places. The road? It runs east and west of here. To the west, it passes the bandit woman's camp, then turns south to the sea. But you say it is now blocked? I have seen a strange thing in the rock by the south pass, like one of Kroost's carvings, but of stone. You should go look at it. What has been closed might be open again. I see. Thank you for your tips, friend. I remember you for sure. <laughs> Okay, well, um, that's all of them, Navali. And so your path leads you here, exile. Be careful where you stay. For as one foot leads the other, so too does each foot leave its mark. A trace of what was, a guide to what will be. Ah, your words are as vague as ever. Thanks, Navali. I totally appreciate your random wisdom. Wisdom of one's fate has a Oh, I don't have any silver, do I? Well, I'll come back when I do. Ha ha. <laughs> oh my god, there are chickens. Look at them, they're chickens. My god. This village has chickens. I'm actually happier about finding the chickens than anything. Okay, so now our quests are to travel to the den, to travel to the western forest, and to travel to the broken bridge, the western forest, or the wetlands. I think I shall start by going to the old fields in the east, because there's a bandit leader in the east, and yeah, I just don't like the west. I like going in clockwisey kind of direction, so to the fields. Hello, zombies. You're looking happy today. Ooh, a caravan. Look at the caravan. There are no flies here, so it looks good. Ah, the goatmen. The goatmen have returned. Oh, bears. My god. These are not bears. They're like crossbred raptor. Raptor bears. Look at them. They've got freaking huge ass claws. My god. Why does, <laughs> Why does everything on this island want to kill you? That's, that's not nice. My god, look at them. They roar. And there's apes. Ah, oh, these are the blood apes. They're now called carnage apes. My god. Uh, even the creatures of this forest are really edgy. Oh, there's a fox! There's a fox! There's Look, look, there's a fox. Uh, we're chasing the fox right now. It's, it's running away from us. I'm getting attacked by goatmen, but I don't care because I'm following the fox. Oh god, <laughs> we're getting swamped. Okay, summon some skeletons. No problem. I'll chase the fox later and find out what the fox says. But really, I, I like the fact that uh, the artists of this, uh, or the developers or whoever, they've actually added in, like, a random wildlife. Look at that. 
Look at that cute little fox, it's running away. What does the fox say? <laughs> right, so um, they've actually added in wildlife, which is really cool. <laughs> like the crabs and the frogs that don't give a crap. Even the fox. The fox is just going about its day like a happy little creature in the Amazon rainforest. Although I don't think any foxes live in the Amazon rainforest. And who the hell messaged me on Skype? I'm filming, I told everybody that. Bugger. Oh my god, there's only six minutes of filming time? Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, I, um... Uh, uh, pa 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 panic mode. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to try and finish the old fields as quickly as possible, and then we shall uh, save the rest for the next episode. I'm really sorry, I have uh, so much fun doing this that's like... Oh, we found the den already. Let us at least finish the optional quest, and then next episode we can go through the old fields. So, ladies and gentlemen, now we are inside the den. It is a cave. There are tiny spiders actually crawling around. It's really disgusting. Really gross in here. I, they are, they are like cockroaches and lice, my god. Um, I don't th actually think I like being in here very much. There's a pile of bones. Somebody clearly died in here. And I, my, my witch kicked that very unceremoniously. But look at the details on this, on the, I don't know, stalagmite, stalactite, which is the one that actually reaches up from the ground. You can leave an answer on my YouTube video. Uh, these are cave beasts. They're basically uh, black furred <laughs> cousins of the beasts outside. Ah, the flaming hellions return. Bastards who set us on fire. I really dislike being on fire. If there's one thing I hate in Rayclast, it's fire. Flaming Hellions everywhere. Look, they're just setting everything on fire. Thank you very much. Ew, ew. There are giant spiders. I almost wish I was a honey badger. Oh, sorry, zombie. I. I I thought I didn't have enough, my bad. So there are tiny spiders, and then there are these cave skitterers, which are giant spiders. They erupt into green, acidic-like blood when they die. My zombies, you see, my zombies just slap that one to death. Ugh, they look like the alien face huggers. That's absolutely disgusting. Why are all the creatures in this place so gross? I fucking hate them. Fucking gross bastards. I mean, really, does everything have to look like it's out of Alien trying to kill you? No, it doesn't. I don't, I don't like that. More bone piles. Poor fellows. <laughs> They're getting their corpses kicked. Oh my god, was I even funny this episode? It always feels like time blows by so quickly that I wasn't funny at all. Did I even crack a joke? I hope I did, my god. Ah... Uh... <laughs> Now I'm going to start getting worried. What if what if you don't find this episode entertaining? Oh, I can shock things! Look at that, look at that, that's so cool. I can turn them blue with shock. That's nice. A boulder? Ooh, I moved the boulder. Oh, oh right, I'm supposed to be in panic mode. Uh, I'm supposed to find the great white beast. I'm sorry, I just keep enjoying the environment, it's so scenic. Right, okay, serious, panic mode. From day one, I said I was serious, but unfortunately, nobody took me serious. Zap, zap, zap. Yes, feel the power of Nikola Tesla's death ray. Suffer. Considering I did a Masters episode, I really should drink more water. Probably keep me from coughing so often. Ah, weak lungs. I hate my ailments. I'm sorry, zombies. You have to wade through fire. But through the fire and the flames, we carry on. Yes, yes. If you want to, you can start playing that song by Dragon Force. Carving knife, but I don't need that. Beastful. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, this cave is so boring. No rare creatures. The boss isn't even here. <sighs> I might actually have to start turning this into my personal karaoke session just to get some excitement going. Don't worry, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm a terrible singer when I've got a cough. <laughs> I'm resisting the urge, just saying I'm sorry, I really am. Gold Spine the Malignant. Um, well, he's got golden fur, and there's a purple, purple creature as well. Um, Hellions are blocking my view, so I can't quite zoom in, and I'm dying, dying, dying. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, okay, so it's called a Savage Cave Schedule. It deals extra damage, and it's otherworldly. Uh, I don't know what that means. Maybe it's uh, mythical or something. Oops, clumsy me. <laughs> My witch! I love you! Just killed that thing and it's like, oops, clumsy me. <laughs> I love you, witch. I'm sorry. If you weren't in a video game, I would date you. I would totally say, hey, let's go out for some coffee. You know you want to. <laughs> yeah, that line wouldn't get anybody. I know. You don't have to tell me. I'm aware of my shortcomings. But if I go crazy, then will you still call me Superman? I'm sorry, I could not resist the urge for that one. Hopefully it wasn't loud enough for you to hear. Haha. <laughs> How much time do I have left? Oh my god, 27 seconds! I haven't found the Great White Beast. This episode's going over time. I have to finish this at least. Come on, Great White Beast, where are you? My god, it's not even here. Bears, will you get out of my way? You're not Paddington Bear and I don't care. Ugh. Annoying things. Let me find the Great White Beast, so... Oh. Yes, timer, thank you. I know I've gone over time. Exploring the cave. Still no sign of the Great White Bear. We're over time. Oh my god, I'm embarrassing myself, you cave-like bastard. There it is, the Great White Beast. It is a gigantic Great White Beast. And that was the lamest comment in history, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, I'm sorry. Okay, now let's let's have a look at it. It's larger <laughs> than all the others around it. There's a boss attacking at the same time. And the reason why I'm not fighting is to showcase this to you. They've really paid attention to the fur and the spines on its back, so that really is pretty cool. And its companion is called Razorface. <laughs> That's a pretty intimidating name for a creature, Razorface. Right. Too much clutter. It's got a face of bloody razors. Gonna sh. Okay, I've got a superior rapier and a driftwood spike shield. Absolutely fantastic. No problems. Right then, that brings us to the end of the den. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this episode of Poet Plays, Path of Exile. Sorry about the general grievous cough, I'm still recovering. But yeah, filming videos every day, it's going to take a long time to recover. So, now that we've come to the end of the episode, thank you for watching. Please do all those youtube -y things, subscribe to my channel, like my video, leave comments on what you thought, and I shall see you on the next episode very soon. Love you! Sarangay! <laughs> Trying to play off my Asian cuteness.